Josh from The Running Village, and I'm here to give you my main review on the Ultra Instinct. It's one of their first shoes out of their Zero Drop uh, line of running shoes. So far, so good. I've spent about 120, 130 miles in them, and I've been running them every day. I haven't really switched them out for anything else. Uh, just trying to get as much time in them in this you know, cold season as possible. I uh, really like them so far. They're great all-around shoe. They really perform well uh, you know, on, multiple, on multiple levels. Uh, I've raced in them, done a seven mile hilly turkey trot, did a flat fast 5k, uh, I've done some longer runs in them, been on the trails, some easier trails, some more technical trails, just kind of try to put it through their paces, even spent a little bit of time on the treadmill. I'd say all in all they're great if you're looking for one shoe that really hit a lot of different uh, aspects of, you know, if you're, if you're a very versatile runner and like to hit a lot of different types of terrain, they will work great. I'd say one of the things, uh, they're not definitely not geared towards more technical trails, so if you're a longer distance, ultra runner, something along those lines, you might be looking for something a little more traditional trail specific. So uh, as with any shoe, you know, you're going to have your pros and your cons, the things that, you know, you like about them, things you don't like about them. Uh, for me personally with the Instincts, I feel some of the pros include that, you know, they're a very natural feeling shoe. The uh, wide toe box on them that Ultra is really going for in all their shoes, as well as the zero drop aspect of them, really make them feel like a natural ride, you know. And with the Instincts, you're going to get a little more cushioning than their, their model, uh, the Adams, and you're going to get that, that cushioning, that smoother ride that's going to be, well, frankly, it's going to be more comfortable for the average runner. Uh, for myself, you know, I actually have the Adams that I run in as well, and they, you know, when I really want to feel that that barely there feeling, they're wonderful. They're very ultra minimal, but when I want that little more support, that little more cushioning on longer runs or that day to day grind, you know, the instincts perform great. Uh, so, you know, they're fantastic with that natural feeling. Um, for the app, for most runners too, they're going to be very lightweight compared to some of the other, you know, more cushioned shoes out there. Uh, so that's a great part of it. They fit great. I think they got a really smooth inner and it really fits your foot really well. Um, the lacing system works great, you know, don't have any issues with that. The tongue stays in place, so, you know, all in all, they seem to be just a really well-designed shoe. I only have two complaints uh, with the Instinct, and to be totally honest with you, they really won't affect the majority of the people running in them. I'm just a little weird, a little different. Um, I'm pretty flat-footed, actually, and it's never been an issue in the other minimalist shoes I've ran in because they've all had very flexible soles. But with the Instinct, the sole is not nearly as flexible as a lot of the ultra-minimalist shoes out there. Which gives it that, that, that support, but it also can hurt if you're flat footed like me and you just don't have that level of flexibility to mold around your foot. So that was an issue on a lot of my runs. My feet would kind of hurt a little bit at first. Eventually, you know, they settle in, but that was something that was consistent. Compared to some of the more ultra minimal shoes I have ran in, when you know, range from four to five, maybe even six ounces, at 8.8 .8 ounces, these do feel a little heavier initially for someone like myself. For most runners running in more of a traditional shoe, you know, 10 ounces or more, it's still going to feel, you know, a little more lightweight compared to what they're used to. So I think it'd be a great shoe to, if you're looking to transition into more minimal running and more of that, that, you know, that natural direction that a lot of shoe companies have been going towards, uh, I think the Instinct would be a great shoe to, to look into. I think, you know, Ultra's on a great job with their full line. They have three shoes out right now. They have the Atom, the Instinct, and the Lone Peak. And while I haven't had a chance to personally try the Lone Peak, I feel like, you know, out of the three of them, they really fit uh, they're, they're like a complete solution for the, the the runner that wants to go with the zero drop natural solution. If you're going to pick one shoe for the average runner out of the, out of Ultra's lineup, I think the Instinct probably would be your best bet. Oh.